It's time for everyone plays multiplayer Civ 6. Gentlemen, hello and ladies. This is my Germany game. I've got uh, barbarians on my borders. Let's kill that guy. Sorry, not on my borders, in my borders. Apparently they attacked my garrison a bit. Now they're gone. I think I finally upgraded my archer. They didn't pillage my trader. Hooray! <coughs> That's always good. Save that game. So I started reading um, Deadly Class, Rick Remender's Deadly Class, in case there's another. Uh, I like to, uh, whenever there's something I'd like to get to, and they start adapting it to TV and movies, I like to um, get From to the it first stirring. before too many people start watching it, because then they start spoiling everything. Uh, whereas most of the things I like, science fiction, fantasy, comics, are so niche, you have to go looking for spoilers most of the time. So, um, I said, all right, it's not as good a time as I didn't start reading it. I'm about 10% of the way through. I really like it. I like the art style. Recommender is really good at writing as well. And uh, I like the time period and everything where it's set. So, we'll see how it plays out. We've got, I think, all the way up to the most recent um, issue. All right. All right, Washington. This is in. It's up here. No. Too far. Okay. So I was gonna do a spearman now. All right, let's use your final charge. All right, irrigation. Excellent, because I need that for. Uh, for chocolate. All right, we can head back this way towards the middle. <coughs> Ooh, I've got some iron nearby. That's good. Dave's standing on top of it. All right, so we gotta take this for irrigation. All right, trader goes back over there. Save that game. Submit that file. All right, next game. Another Germany game. As of today, I've got 1,008 ebooks, of which I haven't read about 700 or so. Uh, ebooks and e magazines, I guess, if you want to be perfectly specific. Um, that's crazy. I think I'm rapidly approaching a number where Look back I over will the past, realistic changing finish, empires, which I think is part of why it's important that I. Uh, that I kind of go through the go through my books periodically and which one I'm gonna use so that I uh, read so that I can uh Alright, so we got a bonus resource but not a luxury resource. Unfortunately. So everyone's kinda like, I need amenities. So good thing I decided to do recreation. Alright, uh, we've got a governor. Governor? So I could make her stronger, or I could assign another governor. Let's take a look. 
So she's got, let's see what promotions I've got available here. Emissary. Ooh. Let's do that one. Yes, let us F with the Chinese so hard. Um, I can always do her other promotion as well later. So that it'll help my cities too. That one's definitely within nine tiles. I'm pretty sure that's the way they count tiles. So Hong Kong wants a trade route. Trajan built the Temple of Artemis. I can maybe send you a trade route next, although I may need to clear the area of some more barbarians so I don't get pillaged. Of course, when it comes to my books, to be fair, um, I didn't buy all these books. Um, I would say a good hundred or so uh, if not more, are f we're free. Um, so every month I get a book for free from Amazon. I've been doing that for a couple years. From and humble beginnings. You every month, Torb.com um, gives away a free book. I've been doing that for a couple of years. Um, plus I've got a few books off of Gutenberg, uh, the Gutenberg Project, and... Um, not quite the same as free books, but when I do humble bundles, I mean, the price I'm paying for the books, you can essentially count some of them as free. But that is to say, I'm not constantly spending money on books all the time. Although I do love books a lot. I do have to keep reminding myself there are libraries, dude. All right, so. It uh, does not look like I currently have a road to Baltimore. However, I could um, transfer this guy to Baltimore and then make a road to St. Louis. But that's kind of trivial versus going to Baltimore. So let's do this and we'll make like a triangle um, to make sure that at least between cities, if I need to supply units or whatever, I can do it. Okay. So Washington, I'm going to do a slinger and then a builder. Um. <laughs> Instead of a slinger, of course, I'll do an archer. Um. And then I should probably do a uh, holy site. I think I'll have Baltimore do Holy Site. And I'll have St. Louis do a campus. Since they're both. <coughs> they're both by a mountain and they might be able to give each other bonuses. I also need to solve the amenities issues pretty soon. Although this is not rise of, a rise and fall game, so they're not in danger of during another sieve. Um, let's stay here for now. Alright, next should be the India game. We'll see. Yep. So with sieve, um... Four, maybe Civ Five. It used to be really easy to see who liked each other and who was at war with each other. There was like this little love dodecahedron um, you icon have built that great you, or, cities um, of stone and seen an early icon, empires um, rise that you can see. And I don't think they have that in Civ Six. I haven't found it. I think maybe you're supposed to um, found embassies and then use some kind of other methods to figure out who's at war with who, which I guess is more realistic. But uh, a little more annoying. All right. Keep exploring. Uh, 
Alrighty. Head here. Alright. I might be able to escape being hemmed in by Dan and Dave, at least in the short term. Looks like Dan's going against this guy. Should I just come and steal it? That'd be so cool. Just fucking bam. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I think Daniel would be so pissed. I'd be considered a warmonger too. Eh, F it. Let's do it. Declare war! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hush up. Yes. Oh my god, I want that city. I want that city. I want that city. Oh my god, I can't wait to lose this game. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so funny when he loses this and sees what happens. Oh, gosh. <laughs> He's going to be so pissed. He's probably going to take it from me. Oh my god. Oh, do I raise it? Is that even better? Oh my god. Do I raise the city? Do I raise it? So if I keep it, look at this, I got a sweet campus and everything. Look at all these mountains. But Dan is definitely gonna declare war on me and take it right away. Oh man, what should I do? What should I do? F it, I'm gonna raise it. Raise city by tomb. And I got a settler, which I really wanted. Link. Nice. Alright, hopefully he doesn't still get pissed and attack me, because <laughs> I don't have that many units. Oh man, I can't wait to I can't wait till he sees this save and and goes on the Slack channel. Oh my god, it's gonna be so funny. Oh man, it's been it's been so long since I did some kind of troll move on Civ. I mean, this is like since we were like back when we were kids playing like literally hot seat as a hot seat that I did something like that. Oh man. If I didn't think that he would get so From mad, he would have taken the city right away, and he's got growth. all those catapults and stuff. I would have just kept the city, just be like, ah, ha, ha, look at this city. But yeah, I think we'll just leave it, leave it be. Oh man, <laughs> man, I can't wait! I can't wait till he gets that turn to load up. It's gonna be hilarious. But seeing the, the tech that he has there definitely convinces me I should not go to war with Dan in that game. Not in my current state of affairs with my current military. Alright, looks like Dave has hidden his uh, archer that was around here somewhere. Alright, let's go here. Uh, I don't get to move that turn, and that sucks balls. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna move this turn. Let's see what Dave does about that. Let's heal up. A great profit. Nice. I don't know how I got him, but that's pretty sweet. Go to the holy site. All right, Confucius. Make me a religion. All right, since it was started by Confucius, I don't remember if he's responsible for Taoism, Taoism or um, Shintoism, but I'm going to do Tao. And I will call it, how do I change the name? Why can't I change the name? Maybe you can't change the name in the, oh, there you go. It has to be one of those to change the name. That's fine. They probably don't want to offend anybody. No worries. All right. So the things that always cause trouble are. Amenities and housing. I might as well do this one because I can double dip. Alright. Ooh. Nice. Yes. Found religion. Bum bum ba. Bum 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 bum
Man, can't wait till I can build some uh, some religious uh, people to spread that religion. Spread, 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 spread. When I finally get a trade trade route going. All right, save that game. I cannot wait till dance is that game. It's gonna be so fun on Slack tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this has been Eric having way too much fun playing Civ 6 multiplayer. I'll see you next time. Bye.